When we're talking to contractors, the bulk of emphasis probably lies in talking about pump application, the right pump for the right job, the reason Navac pumps can outperform the competition, and even some time spent on the vacuum rig or the setup that goes between the vacuum pump and the equipment itself. And while those are incredibly crucial points that must be addressed and must be gone over in detail, there's an element to this conversation that's often overlooked. Oil integrity, oil integrity and moisture management. It's important to note that you could have the most expensive pump in the world. You could have the most elaborate and high-end vacuum rig in between that pump and the equipment. But if you've got wet oil, you will go nowhere. One thing I really want all of you to be able to intelligently speak on and even demonstrate to technicians in the field or tech-minded distributors in a meeting is how to manage moisture, how to manage moisture, but also performance test the pump itself before, during, and after a evacuation. The two-stage vacuum pumps used in this industry are completely incapable of achieving the deep level of vacuum that they are built for if there is a presence of moisture in that crankcase. Now, traditionally, the rule of thumb technicians we would go off how the oil looks we would glance at it before a job if it looks pretty yellow or milky almost yeah it's probably time for an oil change i'm guilty of this too and i'll tell you what if your oil looks like that you've got moisture in the oil change it but i can promise you that the performance ability of that oil was degraded long before the color actually changed so it's important for us to be able to find a way to do this preemptively to catch this problem before it becomes a problem and avoid unnecessary delay in our evacuation process now i said a minute ago the pump's incapable of achieving its rating if that oil's not dry and therein lies the answer to performance test our pump and remove all doubt that it's ready to go a vacuum must be pulled on the pump itself and it must be able to pull to what it's rated to it sounds easy enough you need a micron gauge, you need a pump, but what's the X factor? And it's that number. What is the magic number? What is the number that it is rated for? This is a problem that NAVAC has a solution for right on the nameplate. If we take a look at the MP2 DLM, for example, we can see here right on the nameplate, ultimate vacuum, 23 microns. This piece of data is not only included on this pump, but every other vacuum pump that NAVAC manufactures. This is not just a flashy buzzword for marketing purposes. That's an extremely valuable and applicable piece of information that a technician can use to perform its test that pump. By hooking up a micron gauge to the quarter inch port of that vacuum pump, turning the pump on and observing the reading, you will be left with one of three outcomes. One, you've got great clean dry oil in that vacuum pump and after turning the pump on, it will pull down very close to achieve or exceed that rating listed on the nameplate. Second scenario, you'll turn that pump on. You'll see the micron gauge begin to go down, but before coming anywhere close to what its rated value is, it stalls, it stops. You don't have any more progress. This is the magic here. That is a textbook indicator of the presence of moisture. So this was a test that took me seconds to do and it leaves no room for speculation, i.e. looking at the color and making a judgment. You can see here this oil looks perfectly clean, yet we are stalling. That oil is laden with moisture and it must be changed. The third option is simple. You turn the pump on, well, and nothing happens. If you know you have a good micron gauge, your motor's running on your pump, but nothing's happening, that is a quick indicator that you have had a mechanical failure. The convenience of a process like this is even more exaggerated with our DI series, our flagship pump, the six and eight DI. With that micron gauge being on board, it makes that process even more streamlined. Now, instead of having to even hook up a micron gauge to the quarter inch port of the vacuum pump itself, this test is now simply done by turning the pump on with the caps on the vacuum tree. Within seconds, you will have your answer. One answer out of three.